the flood situation down the road from Brainerd in Aiken is a concern as well. The city of Aiken is now under a local state of emergency after the massive storm flooded several roadways. Now the National Weather Service has predicted that the Mississippi River is going to crest tonight and the city is trying to prepare itself for the next wave of flooding. Our Logan Gay has more on the flood. Aiken County is preparing for more water to potentially flood their city after already having over eight inches poured down on them during the massive storm that hit Sunday night and continued all day Monday. The next 12 to 18 hours are very critical because with the dams that are up north of the Mississippi on us, if they start letting some of their dams out, all that water has to come through us. So if we're at 13 now and they're predicting 15 to 17 by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, if that goes any higher than that, we have a real critical area. As a result of the rain, flash flooding occurred in several locations and numerous roads are underwater. If you get down in the, the Malmo area, um, actually uh, State Highway 47 had water that was uh, um, covering you know parts of parts of that highway between Aiken and Malmo. Last night, the city started precautionary measures to keep residents from harm. We were up late putting out big pumps, big 3,000 gallon minute pumps to move water out of the sewer plant and out of the uh, some of the areas of the streets to transfer the water. And since the storm water has infiltrated the sanitary sewer system, city officials are encouraging residents to conserve water. We're hoping people don't need to water lawns and stuff for a while because all that excess water, there'll be runoff that run in the stormwater retention areas and this water w comes all back to the Mississippi River, which raises our flood stages. City officials want to encourage motorists to be extremely careful while driving through flooded areas. In Aiken, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. All right, thank you very much, Logan. Elsewhere, Cass County authorities are asking boaters in the area to operate with extreme caution following Monday flooding. Officials said in a press release that high swift currents are a factor in area water bodies. High water in the area caused Sheriff Tom Birch to call for a no wake zone within 300 feet of the shoreline on all county lakes. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.